What's up, Kitten Cats? Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a super, super fun one that I'm super excited about, and I'm sure you guys are too, just because of all the hype around this launch, as I'm sure you can see by the title, or the title, depending on where you're watching this from. We're here today for a try-on slash review of the new Balance Athletica Quartz Seamless Collection. So with that comes an exciting little announcement. I am now one of Balance's influencers. I am so excited to be part of the Balance team. You guys know I love a lot of different activewear brands and Balance is one of them. I only choose activewear brands that I find are super high quality, very just stylish, make me look and feel good when I'm training. That's something that's super important to me that are durable, that last, that don't show my butt crack, like all very important. So I'm super excited to be part of the Balance team. Very, very, very just, Super cool, especially because having known Taylor and Chloe and Steve for a few years now, just seeing them create balance and how they've evolved with it is super, super wonderful. And honestly, just really stoked for them and all of the wonderful things that they're doing over at Balance. So really excited and grateful to be part of the team. And so with this launch, you guys are able to support me directly through shopping in the link in the description box. That would mean the most to me. That helps support me and my relationship with Balance Athletica. Show you guys that I'm who you're finding out about them through. I'm who you're getting your your info from so that would be super great if you could support me through this link with this launch if you decide to shop so let's get into things today very excited we're gonna go over all the things you want to know sizing cellulite camel toe squat proof all of that jazz quality everything so let's get into it i'm gonna kind of overlay some try on clips with just me talking through things i'll try and keep it as concise as possible we will just go from there so first things first, there are five items launching in this collection. We have the energy pant, the energy bra, the flow bra, and then the hoodie or the cropped hoodie. So I guess there's technically five items. One, two, three. Yeah, so technically five if you count the hoodie and the cropped hoodie as two. Anyway, sorry. <laughs> so we have five items launching this launch and they're all super wonderful, obviously. So let's get into the energy sets. So with the energy sets, there are multiple colorways of this, and this is where you're going to get like the perfectly matching set that is super trendy right now. What I really love, these are like the seamless pieces. What I really love about these, there's a lot of things. We'll start with the pant, because the pant is like something that gives everyone the most trouble when it comes to shopping new activewear brands. A seamless pant especially is very, very hard to nail. So a couple really great features of this pant for one. Fabric. When it comes to the actual fabric itself, I love this like honeycomb, that's how I feel about it, like this honeycomb type pattern that they have on it because this does an insane job concealing skin texture. Now do not get me wrong, there's absolutely nothing wrong with having cellulite, with having dimples, like the vast majority of us have them, but sometimes you just, you just don't want to see it. And that's just how life is. And so with this pant, like you'll see a clip where I'm literally squeezing my butt you don't see a freaking thing in this pant. Like it is full camouflage. Like you don't even know I'm here. That kind of situation. Love that so much. This fabric is extremely like it's buttery. It's luxurious. Luxurious is honestly one of the best words I can think of to describe it. When I first put it on, I was like, oh, okay. That, that, that's where we are. That's where we are. This is where we are. Like, and it's a good place to be. Um, another thing that I love about these are the waistband. So a lot of times when you get a seamless pant, just on the whole with the pant, you get like that sausage encasing feel, which is really not, not my aesthetic. I don't know anybody that that's their like chosen aesthetic. So with these pants, I feel very held in, but like in an embrace kind of way versus like a, a squeeze for your life kind of way. <laughs> that's the only way I can think to put it. And with this waistband, it's compressive enough that you do get that like, Ah, that held in feeling, but you don't get that pinching at your waist that gives you that like roll over effect that we're not really going for, if that makes sense. Very flattering is what I'm getting at. So wonderfully cut, wonderfully constructed. Again, that held in like very snatched kind of feel. Very much so about it. Uh, I was also able to put these through some just higher intensity work, whether it was like higher intensity stuff like rope slams with my gray set. I put them through an entire, like very, very 
tough leg day and they held up. Some of my main issues with other seamless pants is that they're not durable. There will be seams popping, things will just completely rip, or even like if it just came to like putting on the pant. Obviously I don't have my claws right now, but even still with other pants, just with like having normal nails, trying to get them on, I had to be so delicate and so careful because I was scared I was gonna rip the fabric. And there were other activewear brands, like Instagram activewear brands, where I would try and pull on the legging and like not even aggressively, but just get the legging on my body and it would rip. Then like that did not happen with these. So the fabric is thick and durable enough. It's not thick to the point that it's heavy, but it's just a durable, hardy fabric that can withstand a lot of different types of activity, including just getting the pant on, which I feel like is a basic need. Also very important, they do pass a squat test or an RDL test. There was no transparency with these. So great in my book very 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 happy with these i think they're absolutely beautiful when it comes to camel toe this is something that i always tell people to take with a grain of salt just because my what's it is different than your what's it so we all have different shapes we all have different sizes we all have just different situations going on there so just because i don't have camel toe in a pant doesn't mean you're not going to have camel toe in a pant um, it can be it can it's okay to take someone's like recommendation like so for example me saying i don't have camel toe in this pan be like okay you know what maybe i'll try it uh but just know that my parts are not your parts so take that as you will but i personally didn't have any camel toe issues with this there have been other activewear brands you know i'm not somebody that i tend to get a lot of camel toe with activewear um but there have been some just other activewear brands like i remember a couple years ago i bought pretty regularly from the alpha elite leggings i think the revival leggings and some of their earlier versions it wasn't a full camel but it was like just just a lot of like a pronounced v outline and i personally don't need an arrow pointing saying hey this is where the magic happens like we're adults we know that's where the magic happens we don't need any more we don't need direction, okay? Like, we know. <laughs> we know where it all goes down. These, no, no directions, no traffic guide there. So very, very, very happy about that. Even on a leg day, so very, very, very happy about that in all seriousness. I felt flattered, but not overexposed, if you will. Now getting into the energy bra. This would be what I would consider their higher support bra option from this launch. So if you are someone with a larger chest or you just appreciate a higher support sports bra, this is gonna be your best option if you have to choose between the two. It is a bit more of like a durable, full support sports bra. Obviously, I don't need <laughs> A lot of support these days because there's not a whole lot there to support but i still love this sports bra i do love that we have honestly i'd say this is about three inches worth of just additional material below the bra line that makes it a bit more of a long line sports bra versus just a sports bra so i find that when i have the matching set on when it comes to the amount of space between the waistband of the legging and the band of the bra there's only about this much space and that's coming from someone with a long torso. So if you would rather not have as much space between the ending of your sports bra and the beginning of your leggings, this is a great, great, great bet. Um, I could have probably sized down in the sports bras if we're being 100% honest, just because again, I don't have a lot going on up top um, and I did pull the adjustments all the way to the tightest setting, um, but that if I had sized down, it might not have accommodated my lats as well. I am somebody with a fairly developed upper body, particularly in my back, uh, in my shoulders. So what I love about these is I did not get an intense lat muffin. If you know what I mean, you know what I mean. <clears throat> it's a very uncomfortable feeling when you just get that sports bra band digging into your lat. It's just, ugh, it's icky. It doesn't feel super great. Like you're like, I don't, not again, not my aesthetic, not what I'm going for. So this cut deep enough in like on my back to where that wasn't happening so much. Um, and the stitching is forgiving enough. It's compressive enough to support you, but it's forgiving enough to not dig in, if that makes sense. So definitely a big fan of this sports bra. Very much, very much so. Now, <sighs> I had a feeling I would love these just because I know that it's a style of bra that I really love, but the flow bra. So this is going to be a much lighter support 
bra. So if, you know, if you are somebody with a larger chest that does appreciate more support um, or you're doing a lot of higher impact activities, this is not going to be the fit or the feel that you want because there is very minimal support here. But if you're doing lighter activities, lighter impact activities like yoga, like walking, uh, maybe you just like lounging around on a Sunday morning, that kind of thing, this will be great. Or if you're someone like me that has a smaller chest and doesn't necessarily want or need a ton of support from a sports bra, this is also going to be your jam. I absolutely adore this. It's just got such a soft, like just comfy, breathable, cool feel to it. When I first put this on, I was like, oh, this is what I need in my life. Like I've been wearing these literally all the time, even just under like tank tops and stuff to go out and about grocery shopping, whatever. Like I hardly ever wear real bras anymore. Just, I don't really have a need to. Uh, and when stuff like this exists, like why would I do that? Um, so these very, very soft, again, with the band on these bras, this band is obviously much shorter. It's about an inch and a half, I'd say, just like looking at it. Um, but with these, the band is not something that digs into my rib cage. That's another thing that I hate about just normal cut sports bras is when that band digs into my ribs. Like I absolutely despise that feeling. It's just uncomfortable and like ugh, squirmy, not a fan. Uh, so this does not give me that effect. Once again, it doesn't like cut into my lats a ton. Also has some cute strappy detailing back here, but overall just a really great light support bra. Now with these, the each colorway, so you'll have the energy top and the energy pants. And those are gonna be in the matching color, but each one does have a corresponding flow bra top that matches, if that makes sense, that like the color is complementary. So here we have the topaz, which is just like this nice, deep, bluish green color. And then with the flow bra, it's like a very light, minty pistachio kind of color. With the gray collection, it's more of like just a very, very pale gray, uh, that kind of thing. So this, honestly, this is, <laughs> I love it so much. It's ridiculous how much I love it. So that is the flow bra. And then we also have, I don't have it on my person right now because it's actually in my gym bag because I wore it to the gym today. Um, but we have the cropped hoodies and the hoodies. I personally have the cropped hoodie. Something I'm a big like thank you balance for is with the cropped hoodie. It's actually a crop including for us people with long torsos. So I'm five and nine, I have a long torso. A lot of the times when something says cropped, it's a sports bra on me. Like that's just how my life goes. This is the fate that I've accepted for myself. When I pulled this out of the bag, I was like, please God, let them have come through for me. And they did. I put this on and as you'll see in the clip, it is actually a true crop. So with like something like the leggings on, it does actually hit where the leggings end, which in my opinion is what a true crop should do. Um, instead of a sports bra, which like ends right here. So I have freedom to move about in this and like my whole midsection's not showing. Another thing that I really enjoy about this crop hoodie is the venting detail. So I don't know if this was intentional, but around the elbow, there is a little bit of just different detail in terms of the fabric. So I don't know if they intentionally made that for if you are doing activities, like if you are one of those people that finds running enjoyable in the outdoors, <laughs> where you would be like sweating in your elbows, um, there's a bit more breathability there or if it was just an aesthetic touch i think it's a nice aesthetic touch another really cool thing about the hoodies is that the color of the hoodies there's only one color but it does match every colorway in the collection if that makes sense so it matches the gray it matches the topaz it matches the amber like all of that matches and goes together a plus plus again very soft just luxurious fabric it is more of a fitted hoodie or cropped hoodie but not to the point again where you feel like restricted it's just that embraced kind of feeling and i quite like it wonderful it'll be great especially in the winter time and in the fall when you need just like a transition piece or like a layering piece going to the gym when it's too cold outside to just wear your tank top and not have a jacket with it uh, so it'll be a really great layering piece come fall time so that i think is it i think we talked about sizing already but if we didn't I don't think we talked about sizing in depth. So what I'm gonna say here is, I've heard some people, uh, like Mick for example, she recommended to people size up because the seamless collection is a bit more compressive. And what I'm gonna say from my experience is, I'm somebody that was in between sizes with the Kingdom collection. So with the prints, I was a small, and with the solids, I was a medium. So I was in that in between 
place so when i was talking to taylor like asking for sizes i was just like you know i think i'm gonna stick with the medium just because if i'm in between especially with a tighter fit i don't want to err on the side of too small because that's where you're gonna run into problems with seams popping things ripping uh things just not fitting well that kind of thing so i would say if you're going to err on one side i would err on the side of choosing your larger size um and if you are somebody that's like me and was between sizes i would say pick your larger size if you're not 100 percent sure i would say the safe bet is to go a size up um, but again, I was between sizes, so I just chose the size that was my larger size. Now, like I said, with something like the Energy Bra, I feel like I could have potentially gone with a small just because I did feel like I have a bit of extra room to play in there. It's not loose by any means, but I feel like I could have done with a small. Um, but overall, that's kind of my sizing recommendation. I'm typically a four to six in Lulu, um, Lululemon in their bottoms. And then a four to six, depending on the top. I'm usually a four in the top, but if it is a top with a built-in bra just to accommodate my lats, I'm normally around a six in those. Um, but yeah, I think that about covers it. Fabric is wonderfully soft, buttery, luxurious, magical honeycomb goodness. The fit, girl, <laughs> we're looking snatched in these sets and that's all there is to it. As far as skin texture, like I said, does a great job of concealing skin texture if that is something that you're interested in. Uh, definitely squat proof, RDL proof. I was able to put it through some of my toughest training sessions and it held up and it was durable. I've put it through the wash at this point and it is still held up and gone back to its like normal size. Um, one last thing with sweat. One thing I will touch on here is when I'm in an air-conditioned gym setting, you know, even if I am sweating, these did a pretty good job of concealing sweat and I didn't really see a ton. Now, when I'm training at Katie's, which is a warehouse gym where there's not air conditioning and we're in the Midwest, so it's hot and humid, it's well over like 100 degrees in there on any given day on top of humidity, I did have a few sweat marks show through. Now, to me, that's not a huge issue just because if I'm sweating profusely, and like a colored item isn't showing that obviously you're not going to see it as much with black because it's black but as something like for example a gray isn't showing my sweat and i'm sweating a lot what to me that's saying is that that sweat is getting trapped against my skin and that's just like nastiness that my skin is now reabsorbing whereas if i get a little bit of sweat showing through the fabric is breathing and therefore it's letting my skin breathe as well so i'm not you know that's not a huge issue to me the sweat marks had dried by the time i got home so if i had to like run errands immediately after or something like that it wouldn't be a huge issue um, but i would say if you're a moderate sweater you're probably going to be okay as far as sweat showing through but if you're somebody that sweats profusely or works out in a warehouse type gym where it's very, very hot and humid, you're probably gonna have a little bit of sweat showing through depending on what you're doing. If it was an upper body day, probably wouldn't have been as big of a deal. But if you are doing just heavy lower body work, a lot of cardio, just anything where you're gonna be sweating a ton, you will probably have some very moderate mild sweat marks in there. So that is gonna about cover it for me today. This collection is intensely wonderful quality. Like I had high expectations and I was still surprised pleasantly by how this collection has performed like i'm very skeptical of seamless collections because i have been burned i have been burned in the past okay and i was not burned by this collection uh and i know you guys are gonna love it and so i'm so excited for you guys to get your hands on this these will launch this upcoming saturday at noon mountain time so i'm eastern standard time so that's 2 p.m eastern standard time if you're pacific standard time that's 11 a.m pacific standard time i would set your alarms for this whenever i set an alarm for a collection i set it like a few minutes before so like if it's launched at 2 p.m. my time, I would set my alarm for like 157, 158, just so that I can have the browser open and ready to go as soon as that clock strikes. Just because former launches with Balance have sold out within minutes. And I don't want you guys to miss out on this. I don't want you to be upset that you're not getting the pieces that you want. So set your alarms, be ready, be on top of it because these will sell out super, super fast, especially because there has been a lot of hype surrounding this collection and it is well-deserved. It's a beautiful, beautiful, wonderful collection. So if you guys would like to support me and my relationship with Balance, which I would so, so much appreciate, I have popped my link for you guys to shop in my description box and that would mean the world to me if you guys would support me for this launch. I'm so excited for you guys to see your items. I'm so excited for you to try them on, to feel them, to feel as good as I felt in mine. I would love it if you guys would tag me in your orders and tag me in your shipments when you get them. Again, I'm super excited to be part of the Balance family and to get you guys in on it. So as always, that is it for me today. If you like this video, leave a comment below, give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, go on and subscribe. We do lots of fun stuff here and that will be it. So I love you guys so much and enjoy your day. Bye.